both relatives and community members could not hold back their tears a day after news of the death of Kojo Owusu Efirie broke. Sympathizers clad in black and red trooped to the family house to mourn relatives speak about how they received the news of his demise. We received the news with shock. At first we thought it was a dream. We didn't believe it. But lo and behold, it is a rare. Oh, reality has hit us. Yesterday somebody called me as a Ben. Have you heard of our uncle? I said, oh, yes, he's there. He's Accra. That was all. They said, I've been hearing something, some news and all that. Can you check? So I, 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 I tuned my radio and lo and behold, they were seeing it. And it was also on TV. It was with utter shock that I received the news of the demise of Sir John. I have not learned about his sickness or illness or being, uh, being bedridden anywhere either in the hospital or in the house. The news I received was that Mr. John is dead. The late CEO of the Forestry Commission has used his influential role to bring infrastructural development to the Sakrawono community. For residents, his contribution to the upliftment of the community will not be forgotten. Say that the the whole Sakraono looks up to him for any development that can come to this, this place. Uh, he has been the forerunner over the past few years, especially when he, he went, went to Forestry Commission. He has helped a lot um, through his ingenuity. Some people have been taken on board to other places or uh, uh, Forest Commission and other areas of, uh, of development. He's uh, an advisor, you know, his generosity uh, cannot, be mentioned, uh, cannot, cannot be quantified, and also he's affable, loving, and development-oriented person. Single-handedly, he's building a hospital for this town. Single-handedly. Through, from his own resources, he's building a hospital for this town. Uh, and through his contacts, the, the Sakura no town rules uh, is also being asphalted. <laughs>